Henry VIII was the most terrible Tudor of all. His problem was he was spoilt. His first wife, Catherine, didn't give him a son and heir, divorce her. His second wife, Anne, didn't give him a son and heir, behead her. <laughs> no, no. Anne was beheaded with a sword. That's better. They say Anne's head came off so quickly her lips were still moving for a minute or so after. We don't know what she was saying, probably. He where's me body gone? His third wife, Jane, did give him a son, Edward, but then she died. <coughs> wife four, Anne, turned out to be too ugly, <coughs> so she was divorced. Wife five, Catherine, was a flirt, <coughs> so she was beheaded. No, no, it was the axe this time. <coughs> wife six, another Catherine, survived. But why was Henry so horrible? I think it's because he was spoilt rotten. If you're a king, then no one dares to say no to you. I bet you're not allowed to forage in the fridge or slurp straight from the saucepan. But what if you were a young king who could do what he liked? A young, hungry king. A young, hungry, bossy king. He got so fat he could hardly move and he got very bad-tempered as a result. In fact, I reckon, if Henry had heard of healthy eating, he wouldn't have been such a terrible Tudor. My terrible teacher would say, You can't say that! So I won't say it. I'll sing it. Let me explain Henry's horribleness in this sad little song. Henry the Eighth was a big fat man Loved to stuff his face at the frying pan Maybe if he'd been a little bit littler He wouldn't have ended up like Adolf Hitler You can't say that! Oh yes he can! Catherine of Aragon was his first wife He gave the poor woman a load of strife and the fat man had no boy kids So that put their marriage on the skids <laughs> Henry, he married Anne Boleyn But Anne was a lively lass and she did sin She went to her death with the swish of a sword The women in his life were never bored <laughs> Henry VIII was a big fat man He loved to stuff his face up the frying pan If he'd stayed away from the cakes and buns He'd not have ended up like a teller the Hun If he'd stayed away from the sweetie jar He'd not have ended up like Dracula You can't say that! Oh yes he can! Henry, he married Jane Seymour She was the one he really adored She gave him a son and she dropped down dead He didn't have a lot to luck, it must be said And of Cleves was his fourth, of course But when he saw her face, he said, she's a horse so Henry, he gave Anne a sad divorce Which wasn't little Annie's fault, of course <laughs> Catherine Howard was number five The Kodak, she could not survive Catherine was six, her lucky number Because she saw Fat Henry six feet under <laughs> Henry the Eighth was a big fat man He loved to stuff his face in the frying pan If he'd stayed away from the beer and wine He wouldn't have ended up like Frankenstein If he'd stayed away from the custard and kipper He wouldn't have ended up like Jack the Ripper Henry the Eighth was a big fat man He loved to stuff his face in the frying pan I'm glad he stuffed his face with everything Otherwise he still could be our king <laughs> oh.
all right, all right, all right, okay. Henry may seem incredibly cruel to us, but he wasn't unusual. His son became King Edward VI, and he was a spoilt brat like his father. One day, in a temper, he took his pet hawk and tore out its feathers. <coughs> Henry's daughter Mary came to the throne, and she became known as Bloody Mary for her cruelty. She started burning people at the stake. The executioners tried to make the executions quick by tying bags of gunpowder to the victims. But the gunpowder didn't always work. Or if it did, at the wrong time. Sorry, a bit late. Then when Henry's daughter Elizabeth I came to the throne, she started torturing her enemies on the rack in the terrible Tower of London, stretching them out till their arms and legs were torn. But you have to remember, a lot of people were cruel in Tudor times. Even their sport was cruel. You go to a football match for fun. Tudors went for fights. The pitch could be miles long from one village to the next. The ball was a bundle of rags and the winner was the team that got the ball back to their village. There was no referee and hardly any rules. And you thought your school netball team was rough. Football wasn't the only cruel sport. Tormenting animals with dogs was known as baiting. A Tudor sports report for that was even worse.